our topic for today is I have a client who's coming in for couples counseling, but they don't have a diagnosis. Can I still use their insurance for the sessions or can they use their insurance for sessions? So the short of the answer is no, you cannot. Using insurance does require a diagnosis. This is why so many people only use private pay for couples counseling because they don't want to have to diagnose one of the partners. They want really it to be an equitable process and they don't want to have to, you know, put that on, on record. They really want it to be like a systems approach as opposed to diagnosing one person. Now, if you do accept insurance and you do decide to see couples, you will have to diagnose one person in order to use the insurance. That could be some thing as simple as an adjustment disorder. A lot of the times when couples do have high conflict and they come in for counseling, they are going through an adjustment. They are experiencing a change in their life. Like they just had a child, they, they're empty nesters, or there was some kind of betrayal. And so it's really common for them, I think, to have an adjustment to those kinds of things. So you may be able to use that diagnosis. But if a couple comes in and neither of them have a diagnosis and they really are just having communication issues, they really wanna work on their marriage, but they're coming to you through their insurance, you will have to have a candid conversation with them. You will have to let them know that you are unable to bill insurance for these sessions, that there is no diagnosis, that a diagnosis is required for those sessions and that in order for insurance to reimburse, there would have to be a diagnosis and that this would be considered a non-covered service and that this would be something that they would have to private pay for. Now, people may decide that that is not something that they're able to do. There's a variety of reasons why people are not able to pay private pay. Um, but as you see, I think one of the most common private pay niches is couples counseling for all of these reasons. I think people are accustomed to paying private pay for couples. They understand that this may not be a covered service. Some people may say, you know what? I'm going to have to find somebody who is willing to diagnose me or somebody who's willing to take our insurance for this. And you may lose that client. Um, but you also want to remember your ethics and you want to make sure that you're doing things that are ethical and not seeing people without diagnoses and charging insurance because that would be considered insurance fraud. And that's something I think a lot of people may not really realize that that is what that is. And so you want to have those conversations. So we'll talk about how to have those conversations. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Therapy Notes. If you're looking for an electronic health record that's really full service, one that can really help you reach your goals, there is a free telehealth option you can bill insurance through there. You can bill credit cards. They have an online portal. They have paperwork for you to send to clients and they have wonderful, wonderful reporting options. So you can see indicators for your practice, revenue, no counts. You can see if there's any outstanding you know, payments needing to be made. I just really love the reporting functions. And what makes Therapy Notes stand apart is their customer service. You can pick up on the phone, you can give them a call, and they'll help guide you what, through whatever you need. So I highly recommend Therapy Notes. So having those conversations with clients can feel a little awkward at first. Once you get used to it, it will come natural, but you do need to be upfront. You need to explain your position. You need to explain what insurance is. You need to explain that there are different things that you know, are requirements from insurance and this doesn't meet the requirements so you're not able to bill the insurance. And then you, I want you to give them the options. I want you to give them the option to stay with you. I want you to tell them, you know, tell them, you don't have to tell them, like you go find somebody who's willing to diagnose, you don't have to say that because it doesn't feel good either. But you can say, you know, I have to practice within my own ethical bounds and this is one of my ethical bounds and I can't, I can't use your insurance, but I can offer you a competitive private pay rate or I can match the insurance rate. There's a lot of different things you can decide you wanna do. I'm not saying you have to do any of those things, but here's what you know I can offer to you and what I do recommend that you do. And ultimately let the couple decide because it's up to them and it's important that they have all the information to make the you know, appropriate decisions for their relationship. So I hope this is helpful and I'll see you soon everybody, bye.